Hello, Auburn High School. It's Mr. Gardner uh, with my message about who is living my dream. Um, and this is for um, our celebration of Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Um, number one, I feel this is a great honor and uh, kind of wanted to speak from the heart. And I guess my theme would be um, I am living my dream. Um, and so I want to talk about access. I want to talk about um, why access is so important and, and how I really believe that fit within the dream of, of Martin Luther King Jr.'s dream. So kind of going backwards in time, um, once upon a time, I thought I was going to be a pro football player. Okay. And as, as you know, as life happens and you start to realize that that's quite a selection process, I realized that probably wasn't in the cards for me, but, um, you know, I, I was, I had a lot of access to the education system. And because of that, I was able to go to school, um, get my education, play a lot of sports. And then it was time, you know, after high school to kind of figure out what I wanted to do. And, and, and this is during high school. I'm kind of thinking more like my junior, maybe my senior year. And I knew I just loved, uh, I loved working with our teachers as a student. I just realized how much fun they were having all the time. And and I know it's hard work now. I know a lot more now than I did back then. And I always thought that'd be kind of a cool career. And, uh, and my love of football's never changed. My love of uh, working with young people <clears throat> in an educational setting has, has always kind of got me fired up. So um, I guess to tell you a little bit about my story and why I'm living the dream is, um, you know, football was my thing. And, uh, and it kind of kept me motivated. And I know there's a lot of... Uh, young folks out there right now, they're listening to this. You've got your own thing. You know, you always say, well, you know, you got to find your own beach. Well, you've got your own football. You've got, whether it's drama, whether it's music, whatever it might be, um, we all have those things. And I know right now this is difficult because some of those things are being denied right now. But anyway, kind of getting back to Martin Luther King and what he, what he wanted um, uh, for our country was, you know, equality and equity of practices. Um, the access piece is huge. The system has always worked for me, um, and I realize as an educator, as a principal, the system doesn't always work for everybody. Um, four short years ago, I was my very first summer before the school year even started as principal at Auburn High, and it was a beautiful summer day, and I was walking around the campus. I was outside, and I think I had my flip-flops on, t-shirt, shorts, beautiful day, and I heard some noise over at the stadium, over at Troy Field, and I walked over, and and the kids were just getting ready to do some conditioning and, and the football coach at the time asked me if he wanted um, him to introduce me to the kids. Of course, absolutely. I'm their new principal. They don't know who I am. So of course I have an opportunity to say, hey. So I got to talk to those kids and, and I know some of the seniors who are, if you're watching this right now, you if you're a football player, you might've been there that day uh, as you still were working under Coach Elliott. Um, and I talked to the kids about, um, you know, the reason I was there, um, why my why. and. And because I was talking to football kids, and this is true, this is authentic. I, at that time, I really felt like football really helped me get to this place in time. And I explained that to them a little bit. And then, you know, I wanted to kind of cut it short because they had things to do. But I've thought about that um, over the last three and a half, four years. And really what it comes down to is I had access. I had access to everything I needed. Um, it wasn't given to me every time. Sometimes I had to push back and, and get what I needed. And sometimes people were very gracious in helping me out and giving me the things I needed along the way. So I would say this, as, you, as you're working your way through high school, as you work your way out of high school into other systems, whether that's you know the school system, the work systems, the legal systems, just understand that when, you know, as our country has been design engineered, um, we are getting better. But you have to remember um, our country was developed um, very much to satisfy you know, the predominant group at that time. And uh, as we become more diverse, we become better at learning how those pieces can work so we can make more access for everybody. Um, and I just want to leave you with this. Um, and this comes from Bernice uh, um, King. I think that's her last name. It might be Bernice Scott, but she's the daughter of Martin Luther King and Coretta Scott King. And I was listening to her in an interview a couple of years ago. And uh, they were talking a lot about Martin Luther King, of course. And, and she sat back and she looked at the um, interviewer and she said, you know, my mom said something to me a long time ago. And that is the people enjoy to see the sermon more than they like to listen to the sermon. 
And that spoke to me. And that just told me that, you know, we can talk about things all day, but unless you put the action with it, it's just noise. So I would say this, um, help join us in having these conversations of equity, having these conversations about access and, and really building up your own repertoire, your own resume so that you can be as ready to go to jump out into the real world when you're ready to graduate. And, uh, you know, we want to empower student voices. We want to give you opportunities to share and, and your school's behind you. So just know that. So we are trying to, you know, be aligned with Martin Luther King Jr.'s dream um, that, that, that we all can be successful regardless of where we come from. It's really about the character of who we are. So thanks for listening. Um, I hope that gives you a little bit of insight. Um, and, and it really is for me, it's about access. It's about education and, and it's important that we make these things actionable. Okay, guys, have a great day. Have a great weekend. I hope you take time to reflect and we love you, Auburn High School. Take care.